The strained relationship between Greece and Turkey experienced another moment of tension as four Turkish frigates entered the southern Aegean Sea near the Straits of Kossos and Karpathos. This unexpected maneuver, reported by Greek reporter on November 15, 2024, prompted Greece to deploy a gunboat and a frigate to monitor the situation. While the Turkish vessels neither engaged nor approached Greek forces, their presence stirred diplomatic activity before they eventually exited the area. Unconfirmed reports suggest the Turkish frigate's movement may have been related to rumors of the Italian research vessel Ievoli Relum conducting surveys in the region. Greek authorities, however, clarified that the vessel was stationed north of Crete and was not operating under a Navtex, navigational telex. This clarification highlights the region's sensitivity, as even unfounded rumors can trigger significant military responses. A similar incident occurred in July 2024, involving the Ievoli Relum, which led to a 40-hour standoff near Kossos. During that time, Turkey deployed multiple naval assets, citing maritime jurisdiction claims under the contentious Turkey-Libya Memorandum of Understanding. Greece countered these claims by asserting its exclusive economic zone, EZ, supported by an agreement with Egypt. The Turkey-Libya Memorandum, which overlaps with Greek-claimed waters, has been widely criticized as lacking legal basis, further fueling disputes. The recurring naval incidents between Greece and Turkey reflect deeper issues rooted in historical grievances and competing claims over territorial waters, airspace, and maritime zones. The Aegean and Eastern Mediterranean seas are particularly contentious due to overlapping easy claims, potential oil and gas reserves, and conflicting interpretations of international maritime law. One of the most notable incidents in recent years was the 2020 collision between the Greek frigate Limnos and the Turkish TCG Kemalris near Castellarizo, showcasing how rapidly such disputes can escalate. These episodes often involve displays of naval strength, with both nations deploying ships to assert dominance in disputed regions. The geographical complexities of the Aegean, characterized by densely clustered islands and overlapping airspace, exacerbate the situation. Greece's militarization of certain islands, combined with Turkey's assertive naval maneuvers, continues to strain relations. Furthermore, Disagreements over the delineation of maritime zones with potential energy resources add another layer of tension to the already volatile relationship. Despite occasional diplomatic overtures aimed at improving relations, incidents like these underscore the fragile nature of the Greece-Turkey dynamic. Analysts argue that these naval standoffs not only reflect unresolved territorial disputes, but also highlight the broader competition for influence in the eastern Mediterranean. Resolving these disputes will require a combination of diplomatic engagement, adherence to international law, and confidence-building measures. As the two nations grapple with their shared history and competing interests, the hope remains that dialogue can pave the way for a more stable and cooperative future in the region.